Hi there. Today, I'm going to show you how to record sp expenses in the Zoho Expense mobile app. Specifically, I'm going to show you a few ways. Number one, uploading a receipt via photo. Number two, uploading a receipt more manually entering in the details. So let's start with the latter. So if I hit this plus in the bottom right, and I now have a few options. And what we're going to focus on today is adding an expense, that top one with the little blue receipt. So I'm going to hit plus on that. Now, on this page, it gives me a few details. First off, it says the date. Now, you can record expenses back in time. So you can click this and choose something previous. Not everyone does their expenses instantly, so that's why this feature is here. For this example, I'm going to choose today. Then I'm going to choose a receipt. So I'm going to pick a file from the device, and then I'm going to choose one of the receipts I chose recently. So in this example, I've now chosen a receipt that is inside of my phone. So this is something that people do where they take a number of photos before they're actually ready to submit, and then they move forward from there. So that's the example I'm showing. Then you can choose the merchant. So if there are merchants in here, feel free to add, choose one, for example, or you can just type one. Right? For the per and this will add the merchant. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to click. I'm going to start typing Costco and choose Costco. You can then itemize the receipt and add line by line what the receipt has in it. Or you could just keep it simple. Now, for the category, I'll choose business development. But whatever category your organization allows you to see is what you will see here. So you might see many, or you might only see a few. Then I'm going to put the amount. So in this example, the amount is $7.97. Now, depending on the locale that you're in, there might be tax involved. So for this example, I will choose HST. And I will say it is tax inclusive. So now the tax amount was $0.92. Cents. So that's basically saying that the $7.97 is the final total inclusive of tax. You can also choose tax exclusive, and now it'll add a dollar. This piece here is very important. If you want to claim reimbursement, keep that checked if you do. Uncheck that if you don't. So I'm going to keep that checked. And then one cool little feature here is you can actually choose a customer. So you can actually attach this to a customer, and that's where this claim reimbursement uh, is important because you can actually reimbursement for them. It would be an example where you're going on site for a customer and buying them something, and you want to reimburse that fee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan a receipt. So this is a very handy feature, especially on mobile, where you can just scan a receipt and get it right into the application. So the large photo button in the bottom of the screen is what you'll click. So I'm going to click that, and then it'll bring up my camera. Now I'm going to scroll over to the receipt and actually take a photo. It'll just verify that you're seeing what you need to see, and then I'll hit OK. You will hit Start Auto Scanning, and the receipt will start uploading, and you will have to wait a couple minutes for it to complete. So we'll come back when that is done. So now you can see that my expense has been auto scanned and it already got the merchant. So if I click on this, you can see now that um, I can, I said it was for Subway. I can always hit edit on it, see that the merchant is Subway, the amount was correct. And I can always edit a few things. Like I could put the tax, say it was inclusive, choose the customer similar to as before. So this is a really neat option to actually get your receipts in here. Simply just take photos of a number of them, and then within three to five minutes, all of those will be scanned and you can start expensing them accordingly. In a separate video, I will be showing you how to actually put these into a report and move that forward. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.